From where I sit at the National Writing Project, I see renewed attention and even actually enthusiasm for the teaching of argument across the nation. And when I say that, sometimes people, especially outside of school, will stop me to hear more about that and maybe reference that at home they have a teenager who's pretty darn good at arguing on their own without much school help. But actually, when I say we're talking about renewed enthusiasm for teaching argument, I mean a very special meaning of the term. Quite specifically, I mean that kind of writing or that kind of discussion that really values evidence, that really values critical thinking and clear reasoning. And then argument, what we're doing is we're trying to find our way towards a position that we value. We want to take it out in public. We want to share it with others. But we want to do that based on having evidence for our belief and clear reasoning. And what could be more important, really, for public policy and for life in a democracy than that kind of learning to value evidence, to value critical and clear thinking? That's how we reason ourselves to conclusions about propositions and ideas and social formations and ethical positions that really affect us all. So in public schools and in a democracy, I think that teaching and valuing argument in that sense has to be at the top of our list of what we care about for young people today.